God bless you. Welcome to the Vine Daily. This is the day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in. I hope you're excited about this day. I hope you're ready to take it on. I hope you're ready to do some great things for God. Listen, I've been talking about Abraham on this week, and this is going to be the third um, session of these five. I'm going to be talking about Abraham. I love this. I love this character of the Bible. He he really displays a, a, a lot of faith in God. And, and what we're doing is we're looking at it from the aspect of what Paul tells us about him in the book of Romans. And we're looking at what I'm calling the essentials, the essentials of Abraham faith. And I want us to understand that these same essentials are to be a part of our lives as we live as well. So what we, the two that we've already looked at is that um, one of the essentials of his faith is that he believed when there was no reason to believe. Okay, we talked about that on, on Monday. Then on Tuesday, we talked about how that his faith did not weaken. His faith did not weaken. Well, what I want to talk about today is kind of oh, right down the line with those running parallel, especially with that second one, is that his faith did not waver. His faith did not waver. Here's what it says in verse number 20 of Romans the fourth chapter. It says, he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. So his faith did not waver. He did not stagger. He didn't, you know, he didn't get out there and didn't begin to get blown a different way and begin to get shifted a, a different way. A lot of times I can tell you in my own life that a lot of times that's happened to me where, you know, God told me something and, and then something came and it causes me to stagger and feel like God's not going to come through and God's not going to do that thing. But we have to still have that faith that will cause us not to be swayed by what we see or what we hear or what we touch. OK, because a lot of times when those things are those tangible things happen in our lives, we feel like, oh, my God, I don't know if I should keep trusting God. Well, Abraham kept kept trusting God. It said he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. So what's the encouragement today? I'm glad you asked. OK, the encouragement today is that you don't waver. Don't edit your faith. Don't change your faith. Don't bring your faith down to a level that makes you feel comfortable. No, keep it up high. Keep trusting God. Keep believing God. Keep saying that God can. God will, and he's gonna do it. A promise is coming to pass. It's working for my good. Don't waver in your faith. When you waver in your faith, you're telling the enemy that you, you somehow don't believe that, that God can bring to pass the totality of what he spoke. Hey, he has spoken to you. Maybe he can bring a little bit here and a little bit there. No, God's gonna bring it all to pass. So don't waver in your faith. Just like Abraham, he did not waver through unbelief. Stay. Hold on to it and keep saying that you trust in God for great things. Okay, so we're going to finish this up uh, on, and, on, and talk about it a little bit more tomorrow and Friday. I got some couple more things, two more points to give you, and then we'll be done. Okay, God bless you. Thank you for hanging 